What's up everybody? It's NS here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Alamo, California and about to tour this newly remodeled incredible mansion right behind me. We got a lot to see today. Huge motor court, a lot of supercars. In fact, we have more cars in the garage. Incredible views. Get ready. This is going to be a good episode. Now, stats on the house. We got 12 bedrooms, 13 baths, over 15,000 square feet of interior space built on a 5.18 acre lot and this property is currently on the market for 10 million dollars we will leave more information about the property down in the description and before we get started i want to thank the listing agents anton danulovic and our good friend herman chen for allowing us a tour there amazing listing now let's begin Right, guys before we start the tour i want to briefly talk about this week's video sponsor morning brew before i became a morning brew subscriber when i wake up i would aimlessly browse through the internet and social media and look through all the business news but recently i've been introduced to morning brew and i love it morning brew is a completely free daily newsletter from monday to saturday delivered straight to your inbox and gets you up to speed on business news in just five minutes it's relevant informative and bottom line it's super convenient. Recently, I found out that App Harvest, a farming startup that grows fruits and veggies in high-tech greenhouses, is going public at a valuation of $1 billion. And in other news, Dunkin' Donuts came up with two cereals that are coffee flavored. Now that's cool. There's no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew if you're interested in business, finance, and tech. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description, so make sure to go subscribe. And now, let's get started with the tour. All right, guys, we're back at the motor court. I'm excited to show you guys the incredible cars here and the massive garage. But before we do that, why don't we go inside and check out the home? All right, guys, here we are at the entry. Massive steel glass door and a very spacious entry. We have coffee ceilings this gorgeous chandelier off of the entry. And in fact, Mikey, can we pan down to the floors for a second? They mimic the look of the coffee ceilings on the floors here with the white plank, oak hardwood floors, looks gorgeous, makes a statement piece. On my left-hand side, we have the staircase taking us up to the second floor. And now let's go to the left where we have the powder room. We have a closet on the left-hand side, and this is where we have the powder room. Same hardwood floors continue. Really cool vanity design with natural stone countertops, marble back walls, and they even have these two fixtures coming down from the ceiling. Going across, we have the office. Let's go check it out. And here's another detail I would like to mention. We rarely do this, but the owners of this home actually still live here. In fact, you guys may see some of their belongings and there will be a few rooms that we cannot go in for privacy reason. So I wanted to give the heads up on that. This room is the office. We have the wood clad walls, a lot of built-ins, French doors opening up to the motor court. And going this way, this room gets a full bathroom here, water closet, we have the vanity set up right here, and this room also gets a full walk-in shower. Getting out of the office, let's go back to the entry. And off of the entry, we have the formal living room area. Same hardwood floors continues, nice and elegant space. We have French doors on each side of the fireplace opening up to the backyard. We'll get there in a minute. We have the fireplace right here, beautifully bookmatched in the center. Again, off of the entry and right next door, we have the formal dining room area. First of all, I really like the table design here with these cool legs. We have the French doors right here, again, opening up to the backyard. And off of your table, we have the wine cellar right here. Let's pan up for a second. It's temperature controlled and it's nicely dressed with all these bottles of wines and champagne. Going this way, we're back at the hallway. And we have double doors here opening up to the family room. Let's check it out. What I like about this room is the scale here. In fact, we have 20 foot high ceilings and all these beam details that are bringing a lot of warmth and character to the space. Massive chandeliers, we'll talk on them later. 
Going this way for the great room, we have a bar area right here. Dual elevation, natural stone countertops, plenty of storage. And I wanna briefly talk about this back wall here. When I initially saw it, I thought it was a backlit onyx, but after talking to the developer, he mentioned it to me that it's actually quartzite and it's only quartzite in the world that you can actually backlit. I really like these wall mount uh, open shelves right here. Again, staging looks gorgeous and we have a wine station right here. We rarely see these. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, we rarely see these, but they're definitely great addition to a bar. And all this side may look like a cabinetry. In fact, these are under countertop refrigerator drawers. All these right here. Now, going back out, we have a sliding glass door right here, opening up to the backyard. Again, we'll talk on that later. Going this way, this is where we have the family room and that gorgeous chandelier right above. It kind of has ornate finishes to it, but I like that they installed Edison bulbs to give it a little bit more character and warm light. We have the TV mounted here, some built-ins, and I mean, look at the views from the windows here. We can see all the hillsides and the surroundings. We'll get to that later as well. As we continue here, we have a dining table set up right in the center between the kitchen and the family room area, and can we show the scale of this fireplace? It's bigger than me. That's, yeah, that might be the biggest fireplace I've ever seen. Yeah, I think it is the biggest fireplace we have ever seen on this channel. Yeah, for sure. Easily. And, and it's clad with the uh, Texas limestone, which is really cool. It gives a lot of, again, character. And let's talk about this kitchen. Oversized island in the center with plenty of storage. We have the bar seating on this side, chandelier above. We have two and actually another one on the island. We have three sinks in this kitchen. These are two farm sinks. We have casement windows right here, looking towards the view, and it's great to have ventilation right here. Dishwasher, natural stone countertops continue, and this is where we have the 60 inch gas Viking stove here. Developer custom designed the hood vent to match the pizza oven, which is right behind me. We'll get there in a minute. And your kitchen kind of continues here. We have the paneled freezer and the fridge on this side. And right behind me, we have a commercial grade pizza oven right here. And it's one of the original features of this house. Freezer, fridge, and this is where we have the pantry. Not to mention, this hallway right here takes us to the staircase that leads us up to the second floor of this home. In fact, why don't we go up there and check out all the rooms? guys back at the entry and let me come up from the round staircase and again from here we can take a look at the massive chandelier off of the entry and the copper ceilings right above me we got a hallway right here on my left hand side we have two guest suites and going this way we have more bedrooms to see let's start this way on my left hand side we have the laundry room here this is one of the first guest suites currently stays at kids room we have the closet right here. This is where we have the full bathroom. Unique vanity setup right here. I really like the curvature, back tiled wall, tub setup, nicely clad with natural stone. Going back out, right next door, we have another guest suite. This one is a little bit bigger. We can actually get views of the hillside from here. Same white plank hardwood floors are also used here. This is where we have the bathroom. Again, natural stone countertops. We have all this custom tile work right here that actually goes all the way into the walk-in shower. I like the centerpiece right here, and Mikey, let's get some close-ups. Look at the border design that they have throughout the entire shower and cool fixtures. I love their fixtures in this house so far. I agree, I agree. Now let's go back to the hallway. Guys, as I mentioned, it's a big house, a lot of bedrooms, so we have a lot of rooms to see. We're back at the hallway, right here, we have the kids' room. This room faces the backyard, good size, and this bedroom also has its own bathroom with a tub setup. Now, continuing the hallway, on my left-hand side, we have another room right here, currently stays as a TV room, conveniently located between the bedrooms. And when I had a chance to talk to the developer, he told me that he designed this room so that it could be a great game room and a TV room for the kids. They don't have to go down all the way to the first floor of the home. Going this way, we have another closet here. And on my left-hand side, 
another guest suite facing the back side of the home. Bed is situated here and we have the walk-in closet on that side. And I gotta say guys, when we film these houses, typically we don't have our shoes on and this has to be one of the most comfortable carpets I've ever felt. I agree. Ennis gets the privilege of wearing his shoes. Uh, <laughs> Still in the but, bedroom. <laughs> yeah, but, but we don't. Well, there you go. All right, this is where we have the full bathroom. I like the finishes here, a lot of marble, right? We have the marble tiles here and they have this border design that actually goes all the way into the tub setup. Not to mention they even clad the face of the tub with marble and they even have the cool fixtures right here. Yeah, they're really mixing it up with the color in this one, a little black tone. Actually, every single bathroom in this house has different finishes. Another guest suite. This is where we have the full bathroom. Vanity set up here and you actually get a tub right here with different kind of tile finishes. And going this way is the bedroom, pretty spacious ton of natural light and this one is facing the motor cord. Now going back out to the hallway, we have these double doors opening up to the other wing of the house. And this is the staircase coming up from the kitchen and taking the hallway, we can get a closer look at the beams or the family room area and get a closer look at the chandeliers that we talked about. Right in front of me, we have kind of like a second floor landing here pool table, another hangout area, and these windows looking towards the hillside views. Following the hallway, we have another seating area here. A lot of seating areas to see. Nice little chess room. Yep, and I'm gonna close this door because we got a cool surprise for you guys here. Stay tuned for that. Before we do that, let's take this hallway. On my left-hand side, we have another guest bedroom with its own bathroom, and going through here, we have a guest house here. I say guest house because this door opens up from the motor court and you can actually walk straight to here. Again, very spacious room. This could have been easily second, third or fourth living room in this house since we have so much space. Also has its own bar and little kitchenette. Same countertops are also used here. Same shaker cabinets, inset finish, double elevation here. And you got your wine fridge, microwave and a cool backsplash. Would this be considered an ADU? It wouldn't because it's actually attached to the home, although it has its own exterior access. I guess that makes sense. So now we're back at the hallway, windows on the left-hand side looking towards the motor cord. And this is the room that I told you guys about, which is the movie theater. Now, this is a real movie theater. We have 18 electric recliner chairs here, nice elevation. Right in front of me, this is where we have the projector, nice paneled walls with wall sconces, and I mean, just imagine sitting down in one of those chairs and enjoying your movie. In fact, I really mean it. They're electric and reclining and definitely very comfortable. These are better than uh, movie theater chairs easily. There you go. I told you guys, it's like a real movie theater here. And I hope everybody's enjoying the video so far. If you do, make sure to give us a like. As always, if you have any questions or input, definitely leave us a comment below. And lastly, you might be wondering, where's the master bedroom? It's actually on the first floor off of the entry. Why don't we go downstairs and check it out? All right, guys, we have the double doors opening from the entry straight to the master bedroom. We have one of the two master closets on my right hand side. As I told you guys, we have the owners living here, so we cannot show that. On my left hand side, we have all the security cameras. So you know what's going on in the house and going this way. This is where we have the master bedroom. I mean, the scale in this room is unbelievable. We have 20 foot high ceilings. And Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling for a second? I really like those wood beam details. And to give it a little bit more warmth, they actually have the bends around them. And I really like how black details are kind of matching throughout the room, like the windows, light fixtures. In fact, that chandelier above us looks incredible. I mean, look at the size of that thing. And they use Edison bulbs in the chandelier to give it a little bit more character and warm light. And Mikey, since we are looking at the ceiling, can we get a look at those uh, small windows right below the ceiling level, bringing natural light in? And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this house was recently redone, so we still have the stickers on those windows. And going this way, we have the same hardwood floors, a little bit of a seating area. On this side, we have casement windows looking towards the side of the property where we can see the hillside. Right behind me, we have a fixed window and a slider opening up to the incredible backyard of this home. We'll talk more on that later. As I go back, we have the king size bed right here, wall sconces on each side, facing towards this section where we have the built-in and a nice area where they have the TV recessed in. I love when uh, developers recess in those TVs. It just kind of 
shows that they took the time to plan it and think about it. I agree, I agree. I mean, just the scale of this bedroom and you know, the space is incredible. And we have these double doors right here opening up to the master bath. In fact, let's check that out next. And Mikey, can we get a close up on this door and see all the distressed details and the characters and ornate finishes? Not to mention these are solid doors. Really nice. And you walk into your master bath and you guys saw the bedroom. Obviously the same scale continues here as well. Let's start with the floors. We have the tile floors throughout with this nice inlaid marble section right here and right in front of the walk-in shower. Let's start with the vanity setup. Obviously we have double vanities here. I would say this is probably the her side because we actually have a makeup area right here. Wood panel walls, mirrors are nicely recessed in. Going this way, this is where we have the vanity setup. Same shaker cabinetry, nice inset finish. And this is where we have the fixture. I actually like the finishes that they use, not to mention they have an oversized vanity sink right here. Right across, this is where we have the second set of the vanity. Pretty much the same finishes. Just like the other side, we have the walls consoles here as well. Bit of an extra storage. And let's talk about this oversized tub right here. I mean, this is not a tub, this is a spa at this point, right? We have the fixtures here kind of matching the other vanity fixtures just throughout. Not to mention it's clad with the same natural stone. Mikey, let's get a close up. It's book match actually right here. And right in front of the tub, we have a picture window right here with a half frost finish. So you get your privacy, but yet you can still enjoy the views of the hillside. And right on top, we have this beautiful chandelier. Now, the same tub section kind of continues right here and they enclose it with glass. We have the walk-in shower. Mikey, cool detail. Check out those towel hangers mounted on the glass. We never saw this before. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Really cool, right? And going in, this might be one of the biggest walk-in showers we have ever seen. Obviously, we kind of have the bench area right here. Gorgeous marble. When I talked to the developer, he mentioned to me that these were all hand-carved marble. So it's really cool. Not to mention you have every single amenity possible in this walk-in shower. Starting with, we have steam. We have body sprays everywhere. We have a shower head here, it's dual, right? We have a rain head right above us and even the ceiling is clad with the marble. Built-in speakers, recessed lights. Focusing on this side, we have the shampoo niche here, same hand-carved tiles, and I really like the finish that they use here. They have their shower inverter on the outside with this type of fixture. You have your hot line, cold line, and this is where the water gets mixed. Either goes to your handheld, or go to your rain head. Really cool. Yeah, this is a really nice shower. I think I could, uh, I think I could move in here and just be perfectly happy. You know. I mean, this walk-in shower is crazy. And Mikey, stay inside for a second. Look at above you. You have the little ventilation glass too. Gotta let out that steam. Gotta love it. All right, let's walk outside, guys. Going back in a little bit. This is where we have the water closet, and this is where we have the second walk-in closet. Like I mentioned, owners still live here, so we cannot show that. Here's another cool detail about this bathroom and the master bedroom. This door right here opens up your motor court. So you can actually park your motor court, straight go into your master bedroom. And this would be really convenient because in the morning you can take your shower, get dressed, get ready and go straight to your car. In fact, why don't we open up this door, check out the incredible motor court and all the cool cars. All right guys, let's talk about this motor court. We have the pattern driveway here, front entry on this side. Right here, we have two guest apartments. This is the first one you can access through here. On the first floor, we have the living area, currently stays as a gym. And we have another floor above with a full bathroom. Right here, this is where we have the second guest apartment. You can go up through the stairs. And again, over there, we have a living room with a full bedroom, pretty much an apartment on its own. Now. Going this way, driveway continues, and we have the six car garages on the background, and all these cars, let's see what we have here. We have the McLaren 720S, Bentley GTC, Aston Martin DBS. I mean, this is a pretty good selection right here. And it's pick your favorite, go sit in it. Man, that's a tough question. Okay, you know, the kid in me wants to sit in a McLaren, but I'm gonna play my mature card here a little bit and take the Bentley. The LA real estate agent in you wants to sit you in You know, I gotta look somewhat appropriate, I guess. So there you go. But uh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is good. 
I mean, Bentley really stepped up their interior game, that's for sure. I uh, guess those are all hand-stitched uh, doors, everything around you, right? Everything, everything. And I think this dashboard looks really sleek. Mikey, let's pan to the one right behind you. I mean, that's a good car too. Let's check it out. We got the McLaren here. A little more awkward to sit in this one, but yeah. <laughs> ah, should I sit in it? Sit in it. Oh my God. Ow. <laughs> there you go. We have the flip screen. I mean, yeah. This one is a way more Spartan interior. It seems like more of a race car for sure. That's for sure. But uh, I almost want to just go back to the dealership and just be like, let me pay for it. But uh, we got more in the garage coming too. Exactly, we do. Overall, this motor court is incredible. And honestly, one of the special details of this home, right in the center, we have the water feature complemented with the palm trees. And we kind of have a Santa Barbara architecture on the exterior. And we have a guest suite right here that you can access from the exterior, which we already toured. And we kind of left the best part of this motor court last. Obviously we have the massive gates opening up and let's go through here. All right guys, let's talk about this garage. I mean, the ceiling heights here is incredible. And we have six car garages that open up from the motor court. We have another two car garage underneath the guest house. And this is the main garage, 20 foot high ceilings, epoxy floors, multiple accesses. And I mean, we got more cars here. Let's do the rundown. We got Hummer H1 right here, Mansory Urus, Range Rover, another Range Rover, Ferrari 812 Superfast, Rolls Royce Ghost. I mean, what else do you need? We got a lot of, uh, a lot of money in this garage here. We got a lot of money in this house. Incredible mention, all those cars on the motor court and this. Owner is living the dream here. Can I take a guess as to what your your favorite car in here is? Go for it, Mike. You know me well. It's definitely that Hummer over there, isn't it? God, you just know me too well. That's right. I feel like I feel like you've been talking like about uh, ever since you were a kid, you've wanted a Hummer, right? This is as Americana as it gets. There's something about Hummers that I love. Obviously, Ferrari would probably be my choice, but Hummer is pretty much right up there. And guys, that's it for the garage. Now, why don't we go all the way to the backyard and check it out. All right, everyone, I just left the great room. And now let's talk about this backyard. Starting right here, we have all these French doors from the formal living room and dining area, opening up to this covered section right here. A lot of outdoor seating. This is where we have the gas fire pit. And going this way, this tiled patio continues here. And this is where we have the bar area. Nice pergola design above, dual elevation, same natural stone countertops are also used here. We have the ice maker, fridge, gas barbecue, sink, TV, everything right here. Going this way, tiled patio continues and I love how they have these four palm trees right here kind of framing the backyard right in front of me we have the infinity edge pool let's talk about it we got a race spa here overflowing into the pool Baja shelf on this side and they use this tile design right here throughout the spa as well as the coping of this pool we have the pool cover right there and they also use the same tile to clad the water feature which is on this side I say an infinity edge pool because look at the views around us. We have unobstructed views above the trees and I can see all those hills on the background. It's a very peaceful and a tranquil view. And going this way, patio continues and we have another outdoor seating area right here, complemented with a water feature and a gas fire pit right here. Now, I'm gonna go this way and there's another walkway here. These are the sliding glass doors that open up from the master bedroom and backyard kind of continues into this side yard. Another pergola area because we have a bocce ball court here, which is very unique. Since we are on a lot over five acres, we have this massive backyard and all these amenities. And this is another extra one. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see you throw one of those bocce balls. So I don't really know how to play, but- I have no idea. <laughs> I think you're supposed to throw them, right? I think so. Let's, let's see what I'm capable of here. And that's why he's a windsurfer, everybody. Well, this is definitely not a game for me. But overall, this is an incredible backyard. I mean, look at all the space you're getting. The views are unbelievable here. I feel like we're touring a resort. Now, why don't we spend a few more hours so we can see this property at dusk?
All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like. As always, if you have any questions or input, leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't already, this is literally what we do every single week, touring incredible mansions. So make sure to subscribe to our channel, even hit the notification bell. And before we end this video, I wanna thank the listing agents, Anton Danilovich and Herman Chan for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. I wanna thank the owner for allowing us to tour his home. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next week.